Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim. What you're looking at there is a Cherry F-150 Ford pickup truck. And I couldn't help from walking over and just introduce myself to the gentleman uh, that owns it. He's actually behind me and prefer not to be on video and that's totally understandable. A lot of people are a little shy about the camera. But he did agree uh, to help me remember some of the information that he shared with me about his beautiful Ford F-150 here. And some of the things I'm thinking about right now, I didn't even ask him uh, that we're going to go over. Uh, but it is a, um, a beautiful truck. He is the second owner of it. And um, he, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask him some questions in a moment. But I just wanted to show you quickly a little walk around. He's saying, oh, I apologize for being so dirty. And, you know, we have some inclement weather around today. And it, it was kind of weird yesterday, too. So he hasn't had a chance to wash it. But, man, when you first let this truck go by... When you first pull in, uh, as I did here at the inlet today, I just couldn't help from notice, you know, a classic truck. I mean, anybody would. And I said, that's got to be, you know, restored or whatever. And, you know, just looking at it, it's got these nice rims and everything. It's got the extra cab, which was um, a kind of a newer thing probably back in that day. I don't know uh, how popular. Four doors, I don't even think were around much then. You got the aerial on the, on the hood there. And, I, and I'll ask Mark, the owner, in a moment about the engine and the transmission, the mileage and, and all that. But let's just take a look. Uh, it's all straight. He's got a little toolbox back here, uh, tinted window. Uh, it's really nice paint, all original. And uh, he uh, he's from uh, Jersey. He went to he lived in Texas. I think he's got a uh, he's a Texas resident now. We're going to ask him some more questions in a minute. But isn't this a gorgeous uh, Ford pickup? You know, you see trucks all the time. Everybody's got a new one. There's one right there. I mean, yeah, they're gorgeous. They're $100,000, but they're a dime a dozen. But you don't see something like this that often. And when you do, you got to respect it. And uh, so now let's let's talk to Mark. How are you doing, Mr. Mark? I'm doing good, Tim. Yeah, appreciate you uh, letting me video your truck. Sure. And, um, if you can help my community um, understand, I'll ask you some questions. Uh, you told me the year again was? 1994. Okay. And a little background, uh, how did you find it and who had it and how many people have had it? I found it on Marketplace in Texas and there was one original owner before me who had it before I purchased it four or five years ago. Oh, okay. And uh, you bought it four or five years ago. How many miles were it when you got it? About 176, I think. Wow, it doesn't even look like it has. But you know, 176,000, of course. Yes, but I mean, uh, uh, I guess for the year, that's really low, though. Yeah, it was. It really is. Indeed. Yeah. And, and now I got just about 200. Oh, okay. And is it giving you any problem? Do you ever do anything to it? Not wood, nothing. Is that right? Nope, I haven't. Um, what powertrain are you rolling with this? Um, I think it's a three. I, I don't even remember what it is, to be honest with you. Well, is it a V8? Yes. Okay, so I guess uh, uh, the 302 or the, I could the 351. Yeah, why don't you do that? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Is it outside or do they have the inside hood release now? Uh, it's on the outside. Yeah, let's see what it's got. You know how to open it quicker than I do. Do you happen to know the name of this color? I do not know the name of it. All right, we got ourselves a, of course I don't have my C rights on me, but the actual displacement would, I never, never really. Oh, you know what? This is a six cylinder. No, it's an eight. Is it an eight? Yeah, plugs, plugs, it's an eight. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just not familiar with this style of engine. Um, does it say it here? Of course I wouldn't have, I do have my glasses. I do have them right here. We're going to get to the bottom of it, folks. Not to worry. It's written on there somewhere. Oh, you do? Oh, that, that'll be great. He's got the original sticker, he says. Anyway, this is... Looks like you bought yourself a new battery not too long ago. Oh yeah. Look at this. Oh, well, this is great. This is great. Take a look at this. All right. It's an F series. 
uh, equipped with, um, well, let's see here, 22967 original MSRP and a $900 discount for a uh, option package savings. Oops, the wind's blowing here. 13 and 18 miles per gallon. And let's get the engine size here. Yeah, thanks. Uh, it's got a 5.8 liter. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, Two-wheel drive, 1994, with a four-speed automatic transmission. So, what kind of gas mileage do you think you're actually getting? That's uh, probably pretty accurate. Yeah? The 13 to 18, yeah. Yeah. Well... That's kind of about what they're getting today with even the six owners. And it has twin tanks on it. So that's oh, you got twin tanks? They used yeah. to do that, yeah. If you look on the other side. So how many total gallons? Uh, it might 30. say it on there. Yeah. I have 38 in my Toyota Tundra, which is a, a big fuel, fuel tank. Mm -hmm. It might list it there. Let's see. 34.7. Oh, yeah. You got some range. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have you ever towed anything with it? Yes, I have. Um, I was in the construction business, so I would tow my utility trailer from time to time. With it. And uh, but I haven't pulled I, I haven't pulled a boat with it. But, can we uh, take a look at the interior? Sure. Okay. Let's open it up. It's got the uh, power windows. It's, it is an XLT. Uh, he said he put him a stereo system in there and a backup camera, I believe. And this is your uh, 60, well, it's a, um, now that pit, that centerpiece, that, that's a stationary, right? No, it but, flips up. I mean, the, the bottom part though, It only the two sides move forward and back? This part here, does it move built forward and back too? No. That no, stays no, stationary. Yeah, but this goes up and yeah. down, yeah. but these move and you've got, power. oh look, you've got a power. That's the lumbar. Oh, the lumbar power in the lumbar. back. Yeah, sure, sure. The driver's side is power seat. Oh, it is. But okay. That's original interior. It never touched the. Look at no, no cracks or anything, and of course, no one's even sat in that back seat there. It's like new, like most cars. Most people don't use it. Now it doesn't have a an opening door because that came in later days, uh, but so you just pull this forward and correct, and then you just get in the back. But it is a cushioned seat. And good visibility too, huh? Very nice, good. nice yes. big window. Windows all around. Um, cruise control. Yes. Original carpet, all nice. Look at this, folks. You have to respect a car or a truck that's that old and still looks like this. Look at the body. I mean, hardly any scratches or. Yeah, hardly any scratches in the bed. Yeah, this thing is kind of a bed liner uh, mat back there. Really nice. So. Um, before we end the video here, I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Mark a couple more questions. So, now you've got a uh, an out-of-state tag. Are you visiting or are you, you live here? You look like I you're have a place home. here and I have a place in Texas. You can't hide money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you're north of Dallas, I think you said. That's correct. Almost close to home. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the weather's kind of cold up here right now, huh? very cold from what I hear, and I'm glad to be here, but this hasn't been wonderful here either. No, it hasn't, no, it hasn't, but it's, it's darn sight better than the snow and ice. This is true. And uh, when did you get in town? Uh, I've been here for the last three months. Oh, yeah. okay. And you'll stay through the, through the winter? Yes, sir. But you're not on a, on a time schedule? No, I'm retired. Uh, now, if Mark doesn't mind me asking him, because I did ask him earlier, I told him that my channel talks a lot about uh, Social Security. And I talk about how, you know, people um, you know, should live now. Because nobody's promised tomorrow. Absolutely. And I told Mark, I said, you know, I started getting mine at 62. Some people want to wait. They want to keep working. They, um, they, they want to wait for the insurance or Medicare or whatever. And I said, I, I started collecting mine at 62. Do you mind sharing with the audience uh, what age you were when you started collecting social? I collected at 62 as well. Okay. You ever had any regrets about that? Absolutely none. And um, have you ever done the math to figure that, you know, how long you got to live and draw? Don't quote me on it, but I want to say it was almost 14 years. That is correct. Before you ever lose or, yes. or 
right. get, get even. And who knows where we're going to be in 14 years. And, you know, I was going to make a video today. I just lost a good friend of mine. Uh, some people that wait till uh, wait after 62, they don't even see that. Day. Yeah. Or they, they draw at 62 or even die sooner. So it's really not just the money. It's about living your life and, and getting out of the, uh, the working force. Now, did you, um, when you, if I could ask, did you, when you were 62 and you started getting, did you have a little side hustle on the side, a little part-time work to supplement it, or were you able to fully, you know, cash out? I, I have a little side hustle. I'm in the remodeling business. Okay. I remodeling when I feel like it. So I enjoy doing that, and I work, you know, when I work for nice people, friends, family, things like that, so that kind of supplements it a little bit. Is that what you did for a living, or you just have that kind of a trade as well? I did that for a living. So that's great because that's what I try to tell my community is, you know, if you can get out of working the prison job where you work for somebody else and work for yourself and you, you know, have your own hours, you pick your own jobs and, you know, you supplement your Social Security income. And Correct. now, do you still do any kind of side hustling? You're very fit. A little uh, bit here and there. Yeah. yeah. Whenever you feel like it, right? Whenever I feel like it. That's, that's correct. Well, that's great. So uh, you can hear that Mark there has done exactly what I promote, what a lot of people are, are going with and uh, decide that, you know, it's more to life than just work, work, work till you're 67 or 70 years old and pull out of the workforce and be that much older. And another thing that I tell my community, and would you agree that, and how old are you now, sir? 65. Okay, we're both 65. Uh, I tell people like, there's an analogy I use. If you look at a 12 year old and a 17 or 18 year old, that five or six years, there's a huge difference. Isn't this the same huge. thing between a 62 year old and a 65 or 67 year old? Don't you start to see? No question. That you're not the same as you were at 62. So absolutely do not. what you can now. That's exactly right. And, and Mark's doing it. He's, uh, he's going back and forth from Texas. What do you like to do when you're down here in Florida? Nothing. <laughs> I like that. I like to go to the beach with my wife. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's got a heck of a tan going on him. Well, listen, it was a very uh, pleasure meeting you and talking to you. I'm glad my uh, community got to see the truck here. Are you planning on keeping that one? Absolutely. Not for sale? No. And No, I've been offered lots of money. <laughs> all the for time, it. right? All the time. Every time I pull into a car wash or a, or a gas station, somebody, somebody wants uh, to buy I, it. I, I'm, sure, I'm sure that's true. Um, would we have any idea of maybe what? I mean, it's worth what somebody will pay you for it, but is there any? I don't know what book, book value is on it. Like you said, it's whatever somebody exactly. would give you for it and whatever I would sell it for. Exactly. What it's worth. Yeah. But it's worth a lot more to me than, than what the book value would be sure. on it. Sure. And one thing Mark's got plenty of money. I have, yeah. <laughs> something I don't need. Well, listen, folks, thanks very much for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up. And um, make sure that every day you realize that yesterday is gone. Tomorrow may not ever get here. Today is the day to rush it. <laughs>